Everybody, friends, colleagues, and people who listen to this podcast, whoever you may be, welcome to Pixar Spectre! Starring Random Bystander here. I am The Wash. <laughs> and this episode. <laughs> and. And. <laughs> and I'm. <this> and. <laughs> That's all you're gonna get out. Hey! You tell I'm trying to cough. Let me cough. And we're here to talk about another Pixar film. Oh, geez, another one. Yeah. I thought we were watching Blue Sky Studios films today. No oh. Ice Age this time. I went and watched. Uh, I went and watched Robots. Oh, oh my God, That's Robots! Actually a decent movie. I, I would, I would want to do an, an episode about Robots. I really That's would. It. That's the only reason we would do Blue Sky's pers- Blue Sky Spective. <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> all right. So today we are talking about Wally. You thought I was gonna do the voice, didn't you? I didn't. Wally. There we go. That's what we're doing. Wally. This came out in two thousand and eight. We were just either leaving eighth grade or getting into high school at that point. I, I think we were leaving eighth grade. I, I believe this was a summer flick. I would have to I would yeah. have to check because the DVD that I usually use to watch these and to share with you two got corrupted. And Gasp. so we each had to uh we each had to rent it on our own. Oh no. To watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh it's take, taking us back to like Toy Story One, the very first episode when we had to do that. Oh yeah. my jeez! Yeah, but that one was just because we all actually had a copy of the movie. Oh yeah, that's oh yeah, that's right, that's fair. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. That's right. it was uh, it was random that had to uh, rent it out because of college <laughs> yes. things. Yeah, <laughs> college things and the fact that the VHS I had broke <laughs> because yeah. I watched it too much. But <laughs> Wally, that would did not happen. I wound up just renting it on Amazon. Speaking of uh, uh, watching it, let's talk about our experience with this film. Uh, random, since you're the uh, the new ringmaster. Yes, I'm the ringmaster. Um, I don't remember seeing Wally in theaters. I think I like to classify it as one of those star films. What does that mean? In the Stars Movie Channel, in your cable provider or whatever the heck it's called, <laughs> th- that would appear. What that movie would appear often, and a lot of Pixar movies. I would see on the stars channels. <laughs> That's an and amazing that's way to put it. <laughs> the stars <laughs> movie. <laughs> and that's honest. No, honestly, that's where I watched it. And that's probably where I watched it for the first time because I don't remember seeing it in the theaters, although I wish I did because it was just so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was amazing. It was wonderful. I think I was watching it either like on the floor or something like with on my laptop and my nephew was over and he just randomly just plopped by in and started watching it with me keeping and it's not like we were on a comfy couch in front of like a big screen no it was on my laptop with the not the best looking screen and and it wasn't even hooked up to my TV like it is now but it was just on a laptop, just just there. And my nephew was watching it with me, and he says he's watched it before, but he didn't. He seems surprised every time something happens. So I don't <laughs> think he watched it before, or I don't think he remembered it. Either way, I don't he think just, he remembered it. Yeah, yeah, and, and it was just very nice to actually watch it with him because oh, he was good. it was it was because he was like reacting to it a lot. And we'll get to that. I'll I'll get into more specific examples when we talk about the film itself. Yeah, like, definitely. That that definitely going to give it uh, a lot of cuz I don't think we really talked much about like all these Pixar films are family films, so we don't, very, we don't really yeah. talk about how like kids would actually react to this. So, yeah, that's going to be good. My experience is I watched this in the theaters with my dad. Uh, at, at that time, I, w- I was getting into like reading uh, movie reviews and such. I, I had already heard that the first part was like amazing, and then once they get on the spaceship, 
that's when the the quality goes down and so I that just became my my own impression of it and that was what my my uh, my dad said at the time as well and then uh, sometime later I ended up uh, watching it on my own and I thought like the whole package was was great we did end up uh, the three of us watching it uh, together and this was a very special occasion because well could mm-hmm. be bad. Why don't mm-hmm. you? Why don't you explain your your history with this film? Well, if you must ask, my history with this film dates back to Super Smash Brothers Brawl because, in fact, if you didn't know, Wally stole its character design from Rob the Robot in Brawl. My God, how this dare totally me. this this. This was a thing people were saying back in 2007, 2008. I, re- I remember that. I'm glad you I remember don't. that. This, this is not something that we need to let people forget. This was a thing <laughs> that people were petty enough to say. Rob. Rob, Rob was the original. Like, Rob, Wally stole from Nintendo. Are you saying that, Nintendo? that Wally robbed? Get out. Get out right now. Get out. <laughs> I stole that joke from the Iway Gamer. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> Why'd you have yeah. to bring him into this? Welcome yeah. to our Iway Spective. <laughs> hey, I don't like these video games. I don't know, I don't know. I think Rob stole it from Wally. Shut your pie was... hole, Slowpoke. <laughs> I can't do Iway Gamer, I don't watch him. <laughs> I barely do, but anyway, that's not a, that's that's neither here nor there. Uh, Kirby right, fan, continue, continue, Kirby fan, Kirby fan. Continue. Yeah. Um. So beyond that, the first time I saw this movie, I saw it with you two, and Ooh. I remember thinking it was incredible. Uh, not to. I won't say whether or not this is reflective of my current list, but this is not the first time that we've attempted to rank the Pixar movies. This is just the first time we're really taking it seriously, and the last time we ranked them. All the movies I put Wally at number two. That oh, should kind of yeah. give an impression of what Ooh, I thought of Wally. I remember that. Yeah, I... that should give kind of give an impression of what I thought of Wally going into the movie today. Like I said, I'm not going to say whether or not it remains at number two. Mm. However, my history um, with the movie was very brief, but also very positive. Okay. Oh, cool. That's good. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. Um. You know what? I haven't done a plot synopsis in a while, usually because yeah, so I, I, I veer off track a lot. Uh, so let me try to do the, a, a plot synopsis of Wally here. Earthlings, humans have gone way too far with pollution. The entire Earth has been uh, covered in garbage and oil and all the humans decided to leave off while um, trash compactor robots Stay on Earth and try to clean up the mess. Cut to 700 years later, and there's only one robot left that is still running and still patiently t- uh, going garbage uh, pile by garbage pile, cleaning up the mess. Only this time, it's developed a personality. And as a result, it, it's, it's incredibly uh, curious and inquisitive and lonely. And uh, one day, a ship drops into Earth. Uh, out of it is this beautiful robot named Eve that Wally is instantly smitten with. He, tra- he tries to get into the relationship with, uh, with Eve. And through a whole bunch of complications involving a, a plant inside a boot, they end up uh, uh, back to the cruise ship that the, the humans uh, fleed with. Wally has to save the earthlings, and find his true love. Oh, Yeah, this is... Wally. This is Wally. This is also Pixar's first real attempt into romance. This sort of kind of a thing in a bush life. <laughs> uh, this is when they really started to, like, pound out a, a strong love story of a um, curious little old dirty robot in love with this state-of-the-art uh, probe droid that is in search of signs of life 
but also has a gun and will shoot anything that moves, which defeats the purpose of finding life. Wait. Yes, I do believe I remember us having this discussion a while back. Yes. Uh, I... I remember not siding with you back then, uh, and I remember not really thinking much of that while I was watching the movie, but in retrospect, it is definitely a very valid point. Yes. <laughs> but at the same time, she learns not to shoot everything that moves by the end of the film. Well, well, yes. That if, we're just, if we're strictly talking about Eve's character, there's no problem. We're talking about the logic. This is, this is something on the humans, if nothing else. The logic... <laughs> The logic of building a robot that is supposed to protect life is equipped with a gun that is meant to do nothing but destroy life. It nearly just she nearly destroyed a cockroach. I'm just gonna say it. She almost well, killed that cockroach. You know, it doesn't surprise <laughs> me that humanity would put guns on the things that they didn't really need to put guns on. Whoa, topical, political. <laughs> 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 All right. Anyway. How dare you put politics in Wally? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. But at the same, I don't know where do we should where should we begin? I we can begin with the title character, Wally. Yeah, let's begin with Wally. I love, 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 love Wally. I love him too. <laughs> He's so adorable. I, I'm. And I know you disagree because you uh, you did enjoy Remy, but after f- after two uh, Pixar films in a row where I couldn't get behind the main character, it was so relieving to finally be like I I was almost in tears just at the sight of him. Like he was so much fun. <laughs> Honestly, I forgot Lightning and Remy existed by the time <laughs> Wally was over. <laughs> Wally, even, even if you, I feel like, oh, I mean, obviously it's up to opinion, but I feel like generally speaking, even if you like Lightning and Remy, Wally is just such a big step above. Yeah, it, it, he's just, he's just so likable. I, I can't, I can't even, there's a lot of things that I'm willing to say that I don't like for the sake of a joke only to backpedal on, but I, I can't even say that about Wally. What 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 is not good about Wally? He's I, he's perfect. He's I probably Pixar's best protagonist. I, I, I I'm him. I'm almost gonna say that. Yeah, he's... I'm tempted to also. It's 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 either it's well as of right now this could change going forward. But as of right now, I'd either have to say Bob, uh, Marlin, or Wally. Cans down. Ooh, him and yeah. I would say Wally and Marlin would be tough because they're both good for different reasons. Yeah, and and, and, it's, and it's weird that those are both Andrew Stanton characters. It's yeah, some sort of pattern here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, God, it, it it like you just asked like like what isn't perfect about him, and that's a really <laughs> hard question. Shit, he's if anything, he's too naive and innocent, but that makes you like so. him more. I, I don't, he, exactly. Yeah, I don't think he's too because if he was if he was too naive, too innocent, then. He'd be getting himself into all kinds of wacky situations and putting others in harm's way, but he never really goes that far. If anything, he would, but he doesn't have the confidence in himself to do it. And that I makes think me th- sad. I th- he should I have think more we, confidence in himself. I think I we him. like him a lot because we relate to him a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> I just love him. Well, okay. He's adorable. He's so cute. Your, your point about like going to all sort of wacky hygiene, there are moments where, where Wally does end up, like for example, when they're trying to escape and they go down to one of the escape pods. They discover that a security robot has the boot plant and is trying to send it off uh, into the escape pod. And... Uh, Wally ends up like he, he actually goes over to pick up the boot and, and he just wants to help but instead he gets launched out uh, inside the escape pod. In that case like yes it's a, it's a wacky scenario but Wally is genuinely trying to be helpful. Yeah. Exactly yes. Yeah. His, yeah, he's, one he's of not his, just going along thinking, oh, hey, I'm d- doing the thing. One of the only cases where you could maybe make a case that he was a little bit, I can't even say cool, it's just that, like, like having a, maybe a little too much fun is his partnership with Mo, <laughs> which, <laughs> which, which is definitely, like, the most laugh-out-loud moment. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 
I, I can barely say it out loud. <laughs> they, uh, they, they first land in the in the in the Axiom, the the cruise ship. Yeah. And obviously they clash with each other uh, a little, a little bit. Well, it's mostly like Mo is clashing with with Wally, but Wally is just kind of uh, fascinated with with what's happening. And he, uh, Mo is cleaning up the ground, and uh, Wally just like tips his toe into it to make it a little more dirty, and he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa! And he's just, uh, and, and Mo is uh, cleaning it up again, and then he like passed on the floor, like, come on, you you d- don't do it again here, and then Wally just starts it right in his face. <laughs> Yeah, and he I was laughing him. so damn hard. It was so, it was so fun. It was. I think the good word to restri- describe Wally would be just wholesome. Wally, <laughs> Wally, yeah, as a character, he's very wholesome. Yeah, yeah, and that's why we love him so much. And is just he's he he wants he he does what has a goal in mind, but he still like wants what's best for everybody, and he's still just exactly. himself. He has more of a personality than. Than Lightning McQueen, McQueen and the McQueen and Remy combined. Oh God, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, he has he has a likable personality. He's that's... a likable personality, and he's likable despite seeing almost zero words. Like one of the only uh, one of the few words that he says, other than like Wally and Eve. Is oh, oh god, this this broke my heart. It was um, when I know what you're gonna say already. He's he's practicing. Uh, like holding hand, and he wants to, and Preston like offering to Eve to hold his hand, and he's just, and he's just like Eve, and then he just uh gets sad and just pathetic, and it's like oh. no. Oh, that that's that's not the part that I was thinking of. The part <laughs> that I was thinking of that was gonna for break your break your heart because this broke mine when uh Wally and Eve almost get shot out at the garbage chute, but of all characters, Mo is the one who <laughs> saved them, which was which is great. hysterical by the way. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> Wally is cut. <laughs> Wally is crushed, he can barely move, his chip is damaged. He gives he gives Eve the plant and he finally mutters the phrase directive. Oh. He gives her the plant, says directive, and then Eve, which was a great moment for Eve also, the directive goes through her you know, she, she's thinking about the, the directive. And then she just shakes her head no, and Wally is her directive. But even still, he's trying to push the plant onto her. He keeps saying, directive. Directive. It's really sad. And, 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 and then to make it even worse, that he decides to just, like, he, she offers her hand, he grabs it, pushes it away, and then goes to the plant, and she collects yeah. it himself, and it's just, yeah. nah. Did you, ah. did you know... Um, even though I didn't do much research on it, I do remember the DVD uh, uh, bonus features and all. Did you know that the original, um, the original ending for this, it was, it was an 11th hour change. The original ending for this was going to be that Eve was the one that was going to get damaged and Wally would have to save her. Hmm. They were almost ready to like to get this through animation. They, it was nearly there, and then Anderson, like when he got to that, he was like, "That just doesn't sit right because it's just like th- that ending scene where where you see like all the different people that Wally has touched in one way mm-hmm. or another. That scene, it really has to be that like Wally has to be the um the the one that that he's given so much and sacrifices himself. As yeah. a result of it, exactly, yes. and that wouldn't that dynamic wouldn't have worked uh, nearly as well if Wally was just trying to save Eve. Because I mean, of course he would, of course he would save Eve. But in this case, yeah. like he is, he is damaged and he's nearly crushed. But his number one goal is the directive because that is what Eve is concerned about, and and Wally wants what's best for Eve. Oh my god. <laughs> so Are you crying? <laughs> it's just, it's... I was I was crying throughout the movie. Oh god. I, I, I would, never, just, I I would cry, near. but there were point. I was very near it too. I'm a cry the... baby. I was just crying throughout the movie. The whole like every every scene with Wally and Eve, my hand was on my chest. <laughs> oh my god. That that romance was so much more beautiful than a lot of romances I've seen. Yeah, so, this it's this like, this is the perk of romances. We say things along the lines of, "Oh, we're so glad Marlon and Dory aren't in a relationship," and I, it's just true. I'm very glad they're not in a relationship. Yeah. But the reason why, you know, 
we're in the situation where people are put in a relationship all the time to begin with is because when it works, it's just, it's so pleasant. And this is yes. so pleasant. It really it's is. It's so like, nice. Like, it, even like the, like, often what, what we have is when we when we talk about like female characters in, uh, in Pixar films, is that the best we can say is that they're fine. And here, like, Eve is fantastic. I love Eve so much. Oh my much. god, she gro- she's not only amazing, but she just like grows and like I love, is a character. I love I love how timid and cute Wally is, and about half of Eve's screen time in the movie is just her being really angry at things. <laughs> like when when it's they're so in the funny. elevator and there's like a, there's like a little awkward silence, but they see in the TV the the rogue robots and so, and one is like Eva and what Eve just splashes <laughs> the TV. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> and then it's just I was, going I was, to quiet again i yeah. was not expecting eve to make me laugh this much oh my god she, she was did so funny like like the very first introduction is is when she comes out of the ship and she just starts scanning and just and just acting like robotic essentially and then as soon as the ship starts flying and she, she just looks up waits until they're in a good amount of distance and then she's just flies and just enjoys herself and 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 this is that's really when um when wally like falls uh, falls for her and she's and he sees this this same sort of love of life yeah that's with so an anger important. issue that's well yeah well, ignoring that's but that's really imp- like important to me that it isn't a story of eve is this cold soulless robot that warms up to life when she meets Wally. It's <laughs> it's that she already has this appreciation of life. She just also has a gun. Yes. <laughs> That's and, right. <laughs> That's and when she meets you, Wally yeah. and when she meets Wally and Wally's showing her all of these things and she can garner that appreciation for life is when she really grows. Mm-hmm. I think it's super interesting that it's not the protagonist that does most of the growing. It's the se- it's the it's it's Eve the secondary prote- there's a term for that. Like Durotagonist or something, but oh yeah, I know what you're talking she, about. Uh, go on, she's yeah. the one who goes through most of the growth, and I don't think that Wally not going through very much growth doesn't make him a bad character. I love Wally, and I love that he doesn't go through a lot of character growth because he doesn't really need it. Eve is the one who needs it, and Eve is the one who gets it because of the protagonist. You don't see that ever, <laughs> <laughs> and I really love that they did it like that because it worked really well for the story, and it was really good. Oh yes. God, there's just so much to to love about this. Oh, um, yeah, about, about this, I love about that their two. their first. I love that their first bonding moment together is next to a very large burning fire. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and it, it's a nice moment, you know. Eve's no. happy for the first time. Wally's finally getting through to her. They communicate properly. But it's just, yeah. they're red. <laughs> All you like, see is just the reflection of the tankers. fire. They're just red. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. Oh gosh, I, it's beautiful. I, I'm thinking like because obviously I'm the one that edits these episodes, and I'm thinking ahead, and I realized that because of the nature of this film, that I'm not gonna really get to use so many clips that I usually would because it's mostly quiet. You know, a clip you gotta use. You gotta use this because even just listening to the voices, you can you can hear it. It's when you when you see it, it's funnier. But when you listen to it, it's just as good. When Eve is trying to find a chip for Wally towards the end of the movie, it's Wally and Mo. Wally turns to Mo and goes, Wally. Mo. 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 <laughs> and the way he says, like, Mo? Mo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Mo, Mo just starts getting really fed up with him. He's like, Mo. And, and, and then he's like, and Wally's like, oh. <laughs> Mo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he says, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> the close oh caption said, oh, definitely... I'm pretty sure, but uh, either okay, way. Something, yeah. yeah, oh, something like that. Either way, oh, that was I like I like how my interpretation is. He just okay, that's, that's, probably, that's, that's probably the funniest part of the movie that's for funny, me. Yeah. Um, I, I, can I just say again? That, that's that's just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to interrupt. I was still on my topic. That's just what it feels like the whole, the whole, as soon as they got on the spaceship, that's what the movie was leading up to. The moment where Wally and Mo <laughs> met and just said each other names to each other. <laughs> Wally was being nice and he wanted to make a friend. Mo was just annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> like so far, he still sees uh, Wally as a cube with dirt all over it. 
Yeah. And he just cleaned him at the time. <laughs> I thought clean. it was really weird that, like, uh, like Mo goes all the way down to the dumpster after Wally. Somehow the tracks <laughs> lead him down there. Despite all, the, like, the being literally surrounded in garbage, it's Wally that's the dirty one. <laughs> This is this was it was personal at this point, all right. Yeah, <laughs> honest to God, he just like I've had it up to here with you. <laughs> so random, you were saying before uh, I had to. Uh, it's that. slightly off topic, but also not off topic. It's going back to the fact that like most of this is not dialogue. It's just beautiful animation, and it's just and it's just stellar the, the, visual s- comedy. Yeah, and yes. stellar just visual art in general uh i will say one there was a girl i did at the time i'll never forget when she said this and she told me that she hated wally because no one talks for the first half of the film Uh, and i and i wanted to break up with her right then and there and i'm sad i didn't (laughs) (laughs) and if you're listening you should watch it (laughs) if you're listening randoms uh random single you can call him if you're listening (laughs) thank you for subscribing yeah, thank you. But watch Wally again. <laughs> okay. Every I'm fine now. It's okay. As long as you don't talk about good dinosaur again, I won't get angry anymore. But well, we fit our quarter. <laughs> nah, yeah, yeah. We did. on both ends. If if we're gonna talk about um the the overall lack of dialogue, I do really feel like we should just talk about that first thirty approximate minutes. Yeah, it, that's that's the best. It's I mean, it's the second film is fine. There's yeah. Once they get on the ship, that's it's eh. with one exception, I will say. And that's we'll Mo. Get, well, <laughs> two exceptions. <laughs> but yeah, that whole first thirty minutes, just beautiful visual art, just with I, the I, comedy and with the drama. And when they do have like voices and clips, it fits well and or adds to the story. Put on your Sunday clothes. There's lots of world out there. I, I, I know you're the musical guy. So the Hello yep. Dolly stuff you're, you're all about. Actually, fun fact, I'd never seen Hello Dolly nor heard the song until I saw Wally. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Wow, that's that's surprising, actually. That is yeah, surprising, I, yeah, I didn't even know it was from Hello Dolly until like years after, oh, when okay. I was like, when I was like in a musical theater. Because remember, this came out in like eighth grade before I went to a performing <laughs> arts school, high school. Oh, and, <laughs> and then I, and then I just remember like I think watching a clip from Hello Dolly. And I was like, well, wait a minute, this song's familiar. <laughs> <laughs> Did Hello Dolly steal from Wally? <laughs> Now I feel like the irate gamer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, I, I, I've said this. I probably said this already in the Pixar perspective, but just specifically talking about this moment, I love that first thirty minutes. It it said everything that needed to be said by pretty much saying, ignoring the humans by saying nothing. And yeah. I do, I do think it's pretty disingenuous saying that no dialogue is said in the first thirty minutes because there That's is dialogue, true. there's song, and you could t- you could put up an argument. Maybe you know they could have tried to get the point across without dialogue. I don't think so, but fine if you want to put up that argument. Okay, <laughs> but what's important? What is really important? Why the first thirty minutes shine so much is that no dialogue is used to describe Wally. No. Yeah. What really? Oh. What I almost hate. I actually I don't hate to say this at all. The, what the best thing about this movie is, which is Wally, <laughs> you you just see it. You are yeah. not. You are not explained it. You don't have. You don't need words. You don't need to be told why you like Wally. You can just see why you like Wally. It's the prime example of show don't tell. Yes. Yes, it's, exactly. I fully agree. Uh, Random, you had mentioned earlier, uh, like like not just like great visual comedy, but visual like art. This was, I feel, like Pixar's. This was when they really started to get into like cinematography and not just like shot composition, but lens. Like they actually took the time out to like desi- to like redesign their cameras to mimic the original lens that would be used from the '70s films, the '70s sci-fi films that uh, inspired this film. 
There, there's one scene in particular uh, during the while well, they're still on Earth. Wally is just following around. Uh, Eve's just trying to like like look at her. At, at one point, they're they're inside the abandoned uh, by and large store. He's been spotted. He runs into uh, some shopping carts, and the shopping carts chase after him. And during <laughs> that during that scene, you can see that they they made it look like a handheld shot of a camera yes. being like really surprised by what's happening and just like zooming in and it's like oh oh shit I gotta I better get this. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I, that actually looked like something you would see on Twitter. That really did. <laughs> it's incredible. Robot has shopping cart fail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's, god. It's, I, I really Wally and even Eve to an extent I mean all the robots really. They yeah, all the robots. They, they were there was a lot of slapstick, physical slapstick involved with them. And a lot of it I really don't feel like you could get away when you would do it to a human character or even a human esque character. But because this is a robot and you could rip off his eye and he could just get a new one and he'll be fine. There's so much there's so much physical violent humor you can do with this with this innocent pure robot who wants nothing more than to hold somebody's hand. Uh, it even gets He's to the so point precious, <laughs> but it's still funny seeing him getting beat up. It even gets to the point where like Wally himself forgets that they're robots when they're in the uh, when they're in the repair ward and he's he's looking through the glass and trying to see what what they're doing to Eve. Like Eve is just like like just like cruising along and just like in, uh, enjoying herself like a little bit with the with the cleanup job, but be, but because all, all all Wally sees is the is the robot uh, arm taken off uh, one of her one of her arms. She's like, ah! and, and then later on, like uh, they they get a a buffer and they just like uh, uh, run it on her uh, her face and then they go underneath the head, but from the through the glass it looks like they're decapitating her and it's like. I can't take this anymore. It's like it's like escapes and just crashes through the glass. Yeah, he literally <laughs> uses lasers. <laughs> he uses his laser eye to just like bust through, and and then like because of some mishaps with the guns, they're now rogue robots, and they have to caution uh, rogue robots. There's one scene that has a kind of no dialogue in it. There's some dialogue like thrown in like there and there. Those parts are not as good, but. The dance scene. Oh, it's so good. Oh, when they're in space? Yes, with the yeah. fire extinguisher. The it's fire, such a yes. great... Like, from the moment he gets, like, launched out of the pod, like, it start, you think it's going to end up dark because, like, you see, it, you see it blown up and you just hear just, like, a disbelief from Eve, Eva and she just literally just hear her go, No! And it's just, like, so heartbreaking. And yeah. then you just see no. him fly with the high fire extinguisher. And it's... <laughs> and it's I like it's... that they pass each other, like, three times because Wally just has that little control over it. Yeah, and it just, like, you just see them, and you just... He brings the plan, and she's super happy, and they do the electric kiss, I think. And they, just... they do the electric kiss, that's right. I, I love how, like, Eve already can fly, and, and Wally... He has a fire extinguisher, and he has the most erratic flight pattern. <laughs> yeah, and it so fits the character. Like, uh, like of course, like Eve is like smooth and straight through, and and w- Wally is barely like trying to stay stay in like a straight line. He's just like jagged all over the place, and 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 you start to see that like that Eve actually follows along. Yeah. And, and goes into that, that sort of wavy pattern and it's just like my heart <laughs> it's so cute <laughs> it's so cute it's so good <laughs> oh god and then you realize they locked a janitor out for probably a long time <laughs> oh god they, they have a short about that <laughs> yes they, they, yes an excellent short about that i hadn't i hadn't even realized until then that like the past few movies have had like like in the incredible they have a uh, the babysitter as connection to jack the Act attack and uh, in in uh cars they mention the ghost light in uh in the ratatouille they have a short about uh your friend the rat um and then in this one they have bernie who is just a janitor that's trying to fix a single light 
and, and he, they have another one for the next film too. Yeah, it's, I, I haven't even realized that that that's that's become Pixar's thing. It's these sort of like DVD tie-ins. <laughs> what, Do they have they, one of those for Toy Story Three? Uh, um, they. Uh, I don't think I don't, I don't think they do, but we also have the Toy Story tunes. They yeah, count. yeah Back that's then, true. that counts. That's true, and then yeah. after Cars two, it got all ruined. Yeah. No, <laughs> well, but, gee, what what didn't? <laughs> there, there's our Cars two quota. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the quota, filling all the quotas. <laughs> I'm filling all the quotas. We talked about what really works for the film. Is there anything else that really works before we talk about what doesn't really work? Or well, rather, what doesn't we, work as we, strong? We very, very briefly mentioned who the be- actual best character in the movie was, but Mo. Sp- despite the fact that he was barely in the movie, let- let's talk about Mo a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he he has a stick, he cleans, and it works. That's and he it. actually and he actually winds up becoming a main part, especially in the finale too. Yeah, like he's the he's the reason Eve and Wally are alive. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's 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 the hero. <laughs> he's the hero, but he doesn't he's really a, feel he, like it because as soon as they shut off the airlock and they they settle down, the only thing like Mo really cares about, even when Eve is trying to like check through the parts, Mo just wants to like clean him up. He's still the true hero, but. He's true neutral. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> true neutral. You don't you don't see true neutral very often. <laughs> <laughs> you you even rarer is comedic true neutral. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he does become Wally's like ally. Like to, to a point where he like helps him like find the plant. And even like there's one point where like when Oh god, we need to talk about the ending at one point. But in the ending, when Wally and Eve have their moment, you see a whole bunch of robots come in, including Mo, and then Mo just like, no, go, 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 leave him be. Go, go. <laughs> he's, he's been he's being a good number two, yeah. <laughs> so he's the hero, he's the true neutral, and he's the bro. He's the- <laughs> what he's the what is it in this thing? <laughs> Mo the bro. <laughs> Someone just can you, when you're editing this later, could you just add Mo the Bros just on the screen? In fact, make it the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, just Mo can be the thumbnail. He's fine. No, name that the episode Mo the Bro. <laughs> that's, I, that's and I think good. and I think uh, Mo is a good segue into like the general robots that I just had a I, I had a blast with all of them. Oh my god, it's, especially. Yeah, but, I, Especially the um, the misfits. I forget if they had an official name, but I'm just I gonna thought call they them were called the, the. I thought they were called the Rogue Robots. No, 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 not the no Rogue Robots. That's specifically uh, Wally and Eve. The the ones in the repair wars. I'm just gonna call them the misfits because that's that's what they are in the context of the film. They're God. I just love the the amount of world building they do in this. Like, of course, in in a chip that has been running for uh, 700 years, you'll still have robots that, are, that just crap out. And they have to have yes. a whole ward uh, uh, for them. And I love how as soon as they escape, the, the very first thing they do is they go straight to Wally and use him as like the new hero, <laughs> as the new leader of the, of the, of the group. So, so that they end up like rushing through the, the traffic of bots uh, uh, until they get up to the security bot, and then they think uh, Wally is such a good hero that they just like plop him in front, and they think that he's got it. And like even and when just even when Wally is like shaking, bit. they push him a little bit further. <laughs> such great visual comedy! It's so good. <laughs> I love almost all the robots. Oh, I think oh. I know what you're getting yeah. to, but uh, that's when we can um, talk about that. I mean. I guess just any final random thoughts we have of the positives, because I'm pretty sure we all think this is a negative. I do have one positive I want to bring up real quick. Uh, this isn't going to be that long of a lecture, don't worry. But Wally's a gamer. <laughs> Are you talking plays... about the Atari he... with Pong? Oh yeah, Pong! Yeah. Pong. <laughs> yeah. Go, I... to, go to, go to, go to twitch.tv slash wall Wally. underscore, wall, wall unders- underscore, wall underscore, th- th- thanks for stealing my joke. <laughs> <laughs> wall <laughs> underscore E on Twitch. It's, I probably just don't know, know any better, but from the looks of it, 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 like the console itself is very clear in Atari 2600, but it's being controlled with what almost appears to be like an Odyssey controller, like a Magnavox Odyssey controller. <gasps> they didn't get things right. 
No, no, Wally, Wally, like any true gamer, modded the console. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> In an alternate timeline, Wally finds a capture card in the trash and just starts. <laughs> just have Wall underscore it. E. <laughs> Wall underscore E. Thank you, Mo, for the bits. <laughs> Thank you, Eva, for the two month subscription. <laughs> <laughs> Don't I've been forget to for hit- one month. Thank you for the two month subscription. <laughs> All right. Anyway, anyway, um, let's talk about auto. Okay. Fine. No. 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 <laughs> no. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> it's his dying words. Which, which is honestly like, like m- his funniest moment. Which, just honestly, for some reason, yeah. it was like, wait, it was the wrong kind of dramatic. <laughs> Isn't it like Microsoft Sam or something? I or? almost, I, I have that ex- in my note. I, I'm not sure if it's Microsoft Sam. It may be uh, one of the default um, uh, voices from Apple. Because they, they, they have a lot of different, like, Apple uh, Easter eggs. Like, the, they have the iPod video. Um, they have the Mac playing when Wally starts up. That's right, that's right. Eve herself is very clearly designed to be reminiscent of, like, a MacBook uh, or a similar sort of uh, Apple product. Gorgeous sort of shiny uh, detailing. And Auto is just similar in that. Um, is But like a lot of uh, Apple products, Auto is also... Uh, not a good character. <laughs> my, my, my metaphor stumbled there. Yeah, a little bit, but you got the point across. Yeah. He was boring. He was lame. He was... A twist villain that didn't really need to be a twist villain. The movie it's, did all right, so. Okay, the so... most obvious twist villain because it's so clearly designed after uh, 2001 A Space Odyssey. It's designed after HAL. Of course, this... the, the one with the potent red eye is going to be... It's gonna be sabotaged in this mission. Did did we even need a villain? No. <laughs> um. There's. Okay. Uh, I mean, I I get that certain parts of the movie wouldn't be able to happen, but they're very easy to. they I feel like they're very easy moments to fill in if you take him out. We didn't really. I mean, he needed to be there for the captain because we'll we'll get to the humans. It, oh boy! <laughs> what, what's what's so odd is that like the captain of the ship is the one is is the one robot with zero personality. I think that's sort of the point of it. That is is the system man, if you will. That is the system. That's the uh, live action guy was the real villain. Let's be honest. Oh god! Oh my I, god! I, oh my god! When when they had the real human, yes, uh, like his his picture on the wall. And then it trans it was um, transitioning over to the other captains, and it out of nowhere started to become animated, and it was really jarring, and it looked really bad. Why do we have Fred Willard as the president of By and Large, like a live action Fred Willard? I don't think I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I uh, I don't think this movie should have had any live action at all. The only argument I can really make is to try to connect it to uh, us right now, but. You can just you can, you you can, can accomplish that, that with with like incredible humans. Yeah, yeah. If you look at Ratatouille, for example, what they did with Gusto, that didn't need to be real. Spoiling for a movie ahead, look at what Coco did with its musical inspiration. It didn't need live action stuff. You, you, it doesn't. It didn't have to be like. Honestly, I. I it becomes a major flaw. This, it, this it, isn't it, not a major. This flaw. isn't what this is. I know this isn't the case, but it feels. A little lazy. I, I like Fred Willard as a as a actor and as a person. He's uh, hit hit and miss. He's clearly just uh, like uh, I almost want to say like wily sort of uh, president that that doesn't fully know what's going on. But they <laughs> can't <laughs> insert political joke here. <laughs> uh, political joke. Um, <laughs> Number two. <laughs> All right. Well, here's something we can actually go into detail about. I guess uh, I feel like randoms have wanted to talk about this for a while. The humans. Yeah. Okay. I I have a I have a story about this. Uh, it's not not really a story, but uh, when I was watching this today, um, my 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 partner came into the room and and, and uh, she says, "What are you watching?" And I said, "I'm watching Wally." And she says, "Oh, is that the one with the fat shaman?" And I was, I was kind of like taken aback a, b- a little bit, but as I was thinking about it and like, especially when I started to read a little more into it, like she's right. Like there's, 
this movie has a bad issue with like with like overweight and obese people and it's yeah it, it makes a makes a really bad connection between like obesity and like environmental apathy and it's it's that that was really that that, that was st- starting to get like kind of hard to stomach especially as like as you see like how infantile the they they have become even standing on their two feet is is like a major event for them yeah the captain stands up towards the end of the movie and everybody just freaks out they 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 have the like the 2001 a space odyssey mu- uh, it's not the music from the movie but it's it's very clearly like uh connecting to oh. the sort of um evolution of, of of finally like standing up and and becoming a a, a new man and God, that was that was really rough. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. um, I'm sure a little few tracks by the jo- by the jogging track will make it everything to normal. We have a jogging track. Ugh. Oh my god! When the one lady looks, when she gets to the she gets to the pool area and she looks, she goes, "We have a pool." There's not one person who worked out on this ship. Come on. <laughs> yeah, that was another thing that it was like. It just seems like the, the, the movie just seems to think that, like, every single human would have the same reaction to their world. Like, there yeah. wouldn't be at least, like, some rebellious people. There wouldn't be at least some people that decide to just stand up and go for a walk. Like, no matter their, no matter their body type. And, and that was really annoying. Yeah, that's probably why people don't like the second half that much. Yeah, that, that's what I'm starting to, to, to think now. And God, can you, can you imagine like how, in the original premise for this, the, the first third of the film was pretty like solidly figured out for the majority of its lifespan. And, and this, this film goes back to like 1994. Like wh- while they were still in production of of a uh, uh, Toy Story, like they were. Oh wow! The first uh, third of this was pretty like solidly figured out, but then once they get on the ship, that's when they they have they 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 have like a ton of different ideas, and they're not really sure what to do. The original premise was gonna be one of the original premises was that they were gonna get on the ship, and they were going to see gelatinous aliens. And when I say gelatinous, I mean like green jello as an alien and then it would later on be revealed that those quote aliens are actually humans that have become so lazy as to not need bones just huh? imagine that original concept they they even went so far as to figure out, like gelatin physics Gelatin physics and gelatin sound design. Like they, they went as far as to figure out like what a voice would sound like if it came out of talking jello. I'm glad they didn't do that. I'm glad they didn't do That's that. So either. weird. It's it's really bizarre and that that became like the, the big complaint when they were um when they were trying to work this out with the people just saying like why? This is just weird. And and, and it's like if we think the uh, the humans were uh, were infantile uh, in in this film, in, like the gelatinous quote aliens were dumb. Like they they there was gonna be a joke about uh about like the captain like not being able to put his shirt on in the right direction and have his hat backwards. Like like going into all those sort of like behind the scenes stuff, you really got a sense of 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 just how bad it could have been. <laughs> Well, thank you for sharing. I didn't do any research to watch. <laughs> I, I just think I just think on the whole, the humans were... It, it was a very weak environmental message. Using the humans, there was so much corny... I don't want to survive! I want to live! I, I couldn't stand... There, there were two particular shots that, that it's like every time I saw them, I, I, I just cringed inside. One was they successfully got the plan through and they're about to go into... Um, uh, the hyper- hyperdrive or whatever it is called. Um, <laughs> as we see uh, Wally crust, it cuts to the humans that say, oh no, Wally. Oh my God. And, and, and then I, the one lady goes, no, Wally, or something like that. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And then later and then later on, this one, I, it really shouldn't enrage me uh, when they finally land on Earth. 
uh, the humans are, uh, have, have come out and uh, uh, Eve flies above them uh, going through and it cuts to the humans and the captain takes off his hat and put it over his heart as a sort of God save you Eve and Wally. It's like, uh, uh, uh. it was unnecessary. It was unnecessary. I'm going to say the only thing involving the humans that I liked, this had nothing to do with the humans, by the way, was the first human Wally encounters. He says, he he sends his hand and says, Wally. And the guy responds by saying, John. And he's voiced by John Ratzenberger. (laughs) John Ratzenberger? (laughs) That was definitely John Ratzenberger, yes. It was definitely John Ratzenberger. Eva? No, it's John. <laughs> <laughs> that has, it has nothing to do with the humans, but it's John Ratzenberger, so it's Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But that's, that is it. That is it. That's all I it's got. It's so sad that, like, the robots have, have more variety of personality than the humans. Exactly. And you could, uh, that's the point, but no, that doesn't have anything to do with the movie. The point of the movie wasn't that humans got so lazy that robots got more personality than them. The point of the movie was that we need to save the Earth and Wally is precious. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Wally is precious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Want to talk about the ending now? Because we've been going a while. Yeah, we might as well. Uh, we might not. as well, yeah. Let's pretend that the axiom is only full of robots and there are no humans inside while we're talking about the ending. <laughs> God, what a wonderful ending. Oh my God. It was so good. It, it, it's, it's heart-wrenching when Eve is going through trying to find all the right parts and, and replace quickly replacing Wally and, and especially I just love how it's like it's just like fast 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 and then he op- uh, she opens up the, the solar panel boom shoots up the roof to get the, to let the sun through so it's just, uh, Wally could charge and uh, that was incredible uh, that, was, that, was, that was incredible and then it was so good then you hear the Mac logo, and then... Yeah, the Mac start up, uh, and then he's back, but he, his eyes are straight. He's not quite himself, but Eve, she's just relieved to see him al- uh, alive, and uh, holds out her hand, ready to, to bond, and, and, and Wally is just back in business, ready to, to scoop up garbage. It becomes very quickly apparent that Wally has started from scratch, and he just a stoic robot. She she mourns. She, and she she leans in and 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 sings the um the the hello doll. Put on your son. What's the hell? What's the song uh, called? It's I think it's it only takes a moment or something. It only takes a moment. Yeah, thank you. And 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 gives one final electric kiss. She seems ready to uh, try to bond for herself, but Wally is still holding on to her hand. She's like. A little, a little curse. He's not really sure what's happening, and, and then uh, Wally's lens start moving, and then, uh, 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 uh. Eva, and and it's like Wally, and then and then the very first thing is it's Wally is it's, it's looking at the hand. It's like Eva, <laughs> <laughs> and and they. Oh, and, oh, then they so the, cute. and then they have the and then they have the 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 last. Uh, electric kiss for the film and God, how joyous! Oh, it's so beautiful. This is oh. called farming. You're gonna grow pizza plants with these. <laughs> yeah. We're going down to the <laughs> ground. That was almost a. That, it, I don't think it was Randy Newman, but it was Randy Newman. It's actually. Thomas Newman. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't. He sounds Thomas just Newman. like it Randy was, Newman. Um, it was, uh, no, it's pa- it was Peter Gabriel. Uh, it called Down to Earth. Um. It's it's loud. <laughs> the ending was very great. It was just very heartwarming, and it built you up with suspense. Like, w- sure, he was fine, but you didn't know if like things were going to turn out right for them, especially when things go like, oh, from oh, good, he's fixed to oh, god, she he doesn't remember. <laughs> it's actually legit. it was it was really sad. I had already I'd already cried throughout the movie, but I was I, I kept going. I especially like how. From the beginning, it, it, it kind of um, sets this up. In the beginning of the film, uh, he first befriends the, the cockroach. And as he's going through, he sees that his tires are worn out. And so he uses a, a replacement from a now uh, dead Wally. And, and, and he's able to like uh, cruise along nice and smooth. And, and this becomes like a, a recurring theme of the, of the first 
a half hour is him just needing to uh, repair himself and and um, at the ending we see how far it can go to the point where it's no longer Wally. This character was involved in the ending. Not once have we even mentioned the cockroach, I think. Oh, I think I very briefly mentioned the cockroach. But yeah, we're going to talk about the cockroach, who is a dog. Yeah, he's, it's he's the, the dog, dog character. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so here's here's this. Is the cockroach a positive or is it a negative? I think it's positive. Uh, or is it somewhere in the middle? I think it's somewhere in the middle. I don't... Uh, I, I can't call it a I can't call it a negative because it, it, the cockroach doesn't take anything away from this. It becomes a a small companion for Wally. It becomes and it especially becomes a good way to show his ironically show his humanity and the 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 way that he, he cares about um about other people. In that in the uh, first morning we see like he he accidentally crushes the cockroach uh, at the very beginning. It's like <gasps> oh, and then must when he has when he's amnesiac, he 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 crushes that same cockroach and just cruises along. It becomes a good way of demonstrating his um his morality and his humanity and his and his um care. I guess I'm I'm starting to say that this is a positive. <laughs> yeah, I call him a positive. I call him positive. Yeah, I, I, I guess I, I, think I don't after that, call him a positive. I'm gonna have to change my vote from abstain to positive after that. Because <laughs> he he is used to help show Wally's character. Yeah, yeah. In it, multiple it, it, ways. It's annoying that that we have yet another uh, Disney character of a dog who is not a dog that keeps happening. But I'm fine with that. As far as, um, especially Pixar dogs who are not dogs, it's better than Bullseye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh, boy, yes. Yeah. And Jeez. he needs, he's in the film where he needs to be. He doesn't overstay his welcome. That, too. Yeah, that's, that's very that true. Too. Yeah. That's, yeah. That, too. That, too. One of my complaints about Toy Story 2 was that uh, there were parts that, including the dog, that overstayed their welcome, but... Absolutely not with the cockroach. The cockroach was there for as long as it needed to be. Yeah. For, exactly. Uh, absolutely. Final thoughts. All right. Uh, random. Why don't you start? Okay. Not surprised. Um. Honestly, I, I was um. This was a very enjoyable experience to watch again. Mostly because my nephew was in the same room watching it, and I got to see his reactions to things, along with it, because he was really. Most of the time he was invested. I think once we got on the ship, he left for a brief period, but then he came back. <laughs> he came back shortly afterwards. He came back shortly afterwards. But overall, I wound up liking the movie a lot more than I thought I would. And especially Wally. He's probably my favorite Pixar protagonist right now. Oh, yeah. And without a doubt. And he's just so... He, it's You can't not like him. And I just really 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 like this film and andrew Sta- it's another it's again where andrew Staten film proves to be better than i remember it <laughs> yes it does have problems and but i still think the good outweigh the bad in this case okay that's good um yeah. i guess all right wash yeah i guess it's my turn i agree 100 percent that this is this is probably uh pixar's best uh protagonist um it's gonna be I mean, I, I'm trying to even think like how, uh, like uh, up ahead, like like protagonists that really match how wholesome. Oh he well, is. none of them are as wholesome as Wally. None well. of them yeah. are as wholesome as Wally. It it becomes just so easy to just get sucked into the lives of these robots. Of course, the 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 weak points, uh, as we said, is like the humans, just like quite a lot of things. Uh, I have I have an issue with, I, th- I think the only reason I was saying it's like slightly less is that like beforehand like Wally was like way up there, um so, yeah this this was this was fantastic highly recommended it. it's just beautiful beautiful film, um yeah and def and def oh and I forgot to mention. Pixar's best romance by far. By far. And, prob- oh. and probably oh. is the best romance they've ever done. done. I mean, really think about the competition they've got. There's uh, Lightning and Sally, I guess. Oh, no. <laughs> Lightning, and, 
Uh, Flick and Princess Kachow, Abba. Kachow with the Kachow and Tramp Stamp. Yeah, I'm not too uh, sure I, about I that. I take it over. I take it over what Random just said with Bugs Life. I take it over that. <laughs> Flick and <laughs> Princess Ada. Uh, Mater and whoever he dates in cars to. <laughs> oh, why did you have to bring this? <laughs> why do you have to bring this into my life? Okay, uh, Kirby fan. I, I I like the movie a lot. All right, so I don't think I really need to dance around this topic very much. I have a lot of hot takes when it comes to a lot of things. Uh, about a month ago from when this podcast is being uploaded, I vigorously defended Cars, even saying that I liked it more than Toy Story, which was a monumental film. And I stand by that, by the way. <laughs> so trust me, I am not a stranger to hot takes, but I have about the most boring vanilla take on this movie you could think. I love the robots. I love when they decide not, to, when the movie decides not to talk. And I love what it was going for. Mm-hmm. I do not like the humans. I do not like the live action stuff. I do not like, uh, the twist villain. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, with, I with heavy I air quotes around the word twist. Him. Heavy air quotes around the word twist. By the way, it's a lot of what you would hear about this movie, and I, I do, I do, I do like it a lot. Uh, Wally, as you've both said, is just such a perfect character. I love Wally. I love Eve, and I love Mo. Yeah. But. I almost hate to say it like this, but as far as things that really stood out to me, I really think it was just them. And, well, the first the first third. But after that, I think it was just those three. Nothing else I really thought was, like wowed me about the movie. I, not to say that I lost interest, but I was definitely not into it as much. Because hmm. I wasn't loving it as much. And... It's not my number two anymore. It's been Powercraft. I'll, I'll say that much, but I won't oh, specify. Okay. I won't specify that until we get into the rankings. But I liked it a lot. Definitely has my favorite protagonist so far, mm-hmm. even more than Bob. Uh, and that's that's it. That's all I got for now. I'll clarify a little more, I guess, when we get into rankings. All right. Well, uh, in that case, let's let's just get right into this. Uh, I have a ranking in front of us. As of our last uh, recording, our average rankings was, from the bottom up, A Buzz Life, a 42 points, Ratatouille, a 45, Toy Story 2, a 50, Cars, a 51, Toy Story, at 54, Master Zinc, a 55, Finding Nemo, a 61, and Incredibles, at 62. Oh, that was a tough one. Things might change. Probably not. <laughs> and and I will just I, I will just make a um I would, I would just like to say this real quick. Since our last uh, episode, the my my ranking between Cars and Ratatouille it seems to change depending on my mood. <laughs> I, as of now, <laughs> Cars is currently very slightly above Ratatouille. But it really, it's really hard for me to, to decide between the two because they, there's just a lot that I. There's a you lot gotta stay I, committed, Wash. You gotta stay committed. Yeah, honestly. Well, me, not, me, me, me I mean, and not, not really, because we, we can change our, our rankings as we please. Not during the Pixar perspective itself. You gotta wait 10 years. <laughs> 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 you gotta wait till Pixar perspective 2.0. Now, wait a minute. You both have changed your rankings on this. And I have changed my ranking on this before. <laughs> yeah, a lot more than we have. Oh, my God. This is true. <laughs> we're just oh kidding, God. though. Seriously. But... <laughs> well, maybe uh, you but... were kidding. Oh, okay. Either way, <laughs> let's move, get on with it. You move cars down, it goes lower on the ranking. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we all have a bug's life at the bottom. Is Wally better than a bug's life? Yes. God, yes. You don't need me to answer. And I don't need to answer either. Uh, we all have um, uh, Ratatouille uh, above. Is uh, Wally better than Ratatouille? This isn't as blatantly obvious of an answer, but I still think it's pretty obvious, but I'll say it anyway. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. Yes, I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, now, 
uh, random and I both have cars at this point, Kirby currently has Toy Story 2. Uh, random, is this better than Cars? <laughs> Sorry, Kirby fan. Yes. Yes, it is better than uh, Cars. And I, and I agree. <laughs> uh, All right, I, Kirby... don't, I don't take any offense with Random's opinion. I do take offense with Wash not laughing at the implication of it being better than A Bug's Life, but laughing at the implication of having to ask for Cars. <laughs> okay, fine. Very fair. Okay. <laughs> Damn. So, okay, yeah, you 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 are right you to got, throw shade. You like got that. bodied. Yeah, you are right <laughs> to throw shade like that. I I I'll, I'll give you that. Um, uh, I agree with uh, with random. Uh, I think uh, this is better than than cars. Um, Kirby, is this better than Toy Story Two? Yes. Okay. Very good. Um, now as we go up. Um, Random and I both have Toy Story 2, and Kirby has Toy Story 1. So, uh, uh, I'll, I'll go to Kirby this time. Is this film better than Toy Story 1? <gasps> yes. Okay. All right, very good. Uh, and uh, uh, Random, is this better than Toy Story 2? Uh, yes. Okay, very good. Without a doubt. Yes, I, I wholeheartedly agree. Um, it's this, despite the the humor and everything, this is a really solid script. Now uh, above that, um, this time, uh, Kirby and, uh, and Random, you both have Monsters Incorporated at this point, whereas I have Toy Story One. Random. So let's no no let's ask you this question first. Watch. Yeah. Do I'll you? Watch. Watch. Like Wall underscore E on Twitch more than Toy Story One. Okay, fine. Um, yes, I, I, I. Ooh. Okay, I, elaborate on that, please. Yeah, oh, I did not expect I, that. Really? Oh, okay. Really? Well, yeah. It's not that they didn't expect it, but now is when we're really getting into the okay. Getting to interesting yeah, that's stuff. fair. That's fair. This is when we're starting to get uh, towards the the top half of the list. Um, I, I think it really just comes down to. Wally is not just like a not just like the best protagonist. He's like the best. He's the best like uh like narrative thrust for this for this whole thing. Like so much centers around Wally, and he doesn't even realize it. And it it becomes a it becomes uh, such a great um form of character growth on on East's uh, perspective. It becomes um. It becomes a, a a way for the for the for the mischief robots to to um have to to make their stand, and despite the imperfections, the highs are just so much higher than uh Toy Story. Even though Toy Story is is a lot more consistent and and it's still like very solid, I would absolutely um go for another. Uh, watch of Wally over Toy Story. Although I would probably watch Toy Story immediately afterwards. <laughs> okay, that makes that's good. All right, random. random. How about you with the Wally versus Monsters Incorporated shindig? What's your yes. stance? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wally's better. All right. Um. I mean, elaborate. Yeah. Um. There's just I just. Yeah, I mean Mike and Sully are great and all. They're they're, they're very great characters, but I don't know. I identify with Wally more, and I just it, you're gonna have me repeating myself when I say this. I really just I, I just really like and was rooting, found myself rooting for Wally and getting into it more than I did with Monsters Inc. Very good, very good. And uh, Kirby, is this better than Monsters Incorporated? Put your nostalgia glasses on wash you're going to be very happy with my answer if you're wearing those and only if you're wearing those no Ooh. wow okay you have to elaborate on this okay wally had a very very strong narrative with wally and eve and i do not want to make it seem like i do not dislike wally but aside from a strong first third and a very strong connection between wally and eve I thought that uh, and Mo, that's practically all I thought the movie had. Monsters Inc. to me 
felt like a much more complete package. I feel like as a relationship, Wally and Eve were a lot cuter, and I really liked that. I liked the joy that they bought me, but... Hot take here, guys. I think as a duo, Mike and Sully are still my favorite Pixar duo. Ooh. They 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 work off each other great. They're hilarious. They're foils to each other, which Wally and Eve are also foils to each other in a sense, but this <laughs> this is going to sound so like lame, I guess, but if I have to choose between Basically anything in comedy, I'm gonna go for the comedy. And I, I love the romance, but if you got if I got to pick between a romance and a comedy, I'm gonna go with the comedy. Mike and Sully are just funnier. Mike has so many one-liners and and good jokes. Sully, so I mean, I know Wally is the pure innocent one who you know just wants to do the right thing, but we could describe Sully that way also. Um, Sully has lines like, Mike, she can't stay in here. This is the men's room. Like, we can't ignore that. That's Sully's line. <laughs> Did I say Mike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Wow, what a fan of Monsters Incorporated you are. <laughs> if you're going to call Monsters Inc. better than Wally, do it properly. <laughs> also, Re- also, also, Rex is in the blue, please. <laughs> <laughs> there. That's there, fine. Okay. That's All right. Uh, the blue, yeah, that's right. There is no uh, Wallace Shawn in, uh, in Wally. That's a very good point. Damn. Yes. So you're done, but we continue on. Yeah, that's yes, that's right. We, yes, we I'm interested to see where you two move, go. Move along. Um, at this point, um, I have Monsters Incorporated, and you have Toy Story One random. So, uh, Wally. Wow. You, you okay. put Wally above Toy Story. Elaborate yes. now, you vile fiend. I like the comedy better in Wally than I do Toy Story, and um, and while it's very funny and very quotable in Toy Story, I just the I, the humor is so innocent and nice and just like so wholesome, and just like I found myself laughing out loud more than I did with Toy Story, and totally fair. And, I, agree, I agree with you, and I, uh I love the bond between Eve and Eva and Wally more than I do between Woody and Buzz, and that may be because I'm partly a sucker for romance, but that's okay, because it's just... Mm. And yes, I know it has problems, but Sid isn't the greatest villain either, but <laughs> I mean, he's more I, not I, even a villain. I don't know. Woody and Buzz are kind of falling off for me, I'm going to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but um, They're not, they're not I mean, like up there at all anymore, so, it's, so, so don't worry. I, I mean, they're great and all, but just, like, I don't know. I just, like, the interactions between Wally and Eve just seem natural and more full of personality for robots. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just, I just, the moments that really shine in the film, I don't know. They just, I just, I, yeah, I like it more. I just do. I just, yeah, I'm a sucker for romance. <laughs> and this, and I like more narrative-driven things and, like, even though the the humans do have some problems and that whole obesity thing is not a good thing about the film and it's what's keeping it from probably being number one or at least close to number one uh, for me. Well, I haven't decided yet. Uh, we will... Um, what was I... It, it still flows decently narratively and everything seems to happen for almost a reason. I don't know, the protagonist being there makes a huge impact to the plot, and Wally just, Wally's good nature is used to help out everything, everybody, and I just really like that about the story. I just really like the comedy a lot better than Toy Story, and I like the narrative and romance better. Considering you said it was that close to your number one, I feel like we know what the answer to your next question is. I don't, but I don't, ask. I don't know yet, I don't know yet. Well, because it's not Finding Nemo, that, that's, that's your number one, right? Is it? I don't even remember. Because uh, yeah, yes. yeah. I'm pretty sure I remember what you're your, your number two is incredible. Your number one is Finding Nemo. I think wait, was I, rem- wait, I, think wait, was I remember what... number three? Yes. Toy Story was oh, number sh- three. Yeah. Oh, I think shit. I'd re- I think I'd remember what your number two is. <laughs> I like the movie a little bit. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Wait. Wash, don't you want to... Are you ready now? I was hoping we could buy more time with that distraction. <laughs> All right. Um, I like Finding Nemo more than I like Wally. <laughs> this is easy. This is easy. I got it easy. No, you know what? I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. Uh, the real question isn't where Finding Nemo beat 
beats Wally because Finding Nemo does beat Wally. The question is whether Finding Nemo beat uh, whether uh, Wally beats Incredibles. That's the question I really need to think about. Okay. Um, oh, oh, sorry. I, to... I I just suddenly got a call. Um, just just a sec. Well, I guess I have to really think about it now. Oh, um, mute your mic. <laughs> hello? Yeah. He oh. didn't mute his mic. It didn't deafen. Uh, okay. So I'm just going to probably... This is going to be tough between Incredibles and... Wally. And because mm-hmm. it's just really, really tough. Oh, my God. I, 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 I am going... I'm I'm sorry, Kirby fan. <gasps> Cars? I'm, no. No. <laughs> Yes, that goes across my list. Um, I'm, it's num- Wally's number two. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, I would like an elaboration, but regardless, I, I respect that. It may not be recorded. Well, I'll record it. Um, basically, I'm saying that I like again. It's totally personal preference. It's just I like romance, <laughs> and I I've just always been a fan of like cute, sappy romance movies. And while I do enjoy The Incredibles and the amount of technical achievements it has done. And it's still a fantastic film with fantastic things. And again, this opinion may change. Yeah. If that's... if watches could change, this probably might. I I just <laughs> and yes, the humans are a lot better in Incredibles. I just well, the humans are a lot better in the in the Incredibles. The robots are a lot better in Wally. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just like it better. Just I think I think again, even though you say Wally and Eve may be the best things and uh, maybe the only thing back good about the movie, I just. I don't know. I just like them a whole lot, and yeah. It but if honestly, it's just barely close. Like yeah, it's like a super. That's it's super close. I, I totally understand. Super that. close. That's how. Um, that's how when I I had to put cars over Toy Story. That's how that. That's how I felt. And then Toy yeah. Story kind of started falling off a little bit for me. So it was a much larger gap yeah. to the point where and Monsters honestly, Inc went above it. But I, I know how you feel. All right. But that's all I have to say about that. Okay. And that might change, but right yeah. now, Finding Nemo, Wally, uh Incredibles. Okay. Wash, are you back? I am back, yes. I just uh I I, I heard all of that. I have uh logged that in as your number two and my decision is uh this is gonna be um uh, it's gonna it's gonna uh, uh, break my heart a, l- a little bit. I'm sorry, Monsters Incorporated. Uh, Wally okay. is number three. It's, it's okay. It was really hard for me to decide between the two, but I think it 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 boiled down to a couple things. One was just how strong the 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 two main characters of um of Wally were, and uh, the other was the the great sort of visuals it, it was just so gorgeous of a of a of a film and Monsters Incorporated was when they were still kind of trying to figure that out so for quite a lot of the film it was it, it was a rather like flat sort of lighting um and it 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 doesn't have as much of the the, the visual spectacle even the, I, I would go far as to say the visual comedy that um, that that Wally does. Although uh, Monsters Inc. obviously has some incredible uh, visual uh, comedy, but Wally takes it to an art form. It's it's something to be studied. It's it's fantastic. Um, Finding Nemo um, it is it's so much more solid. Those main characters have some su- such great like pathos as well as comedy. And, um, and, and my, my only negatives, uh, for, for Finding Nemo were the fish tank and they are a small portion of the film. They, they don't, they don't overstay their welcome as much as the humans do. And the bad twist villain versus no villain. So, yeah, I, I think we all agree Finding Nemo is better than Wally. (laughs) <laughs> I, yes, yes like that is something we all agree on. Yes, we can all we definitely all, all agree on that. Now it's time for the calculations. Do 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 do. Wait, oh my god. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> so from the bottom up, we have a Bart's life a thirty nine, Ratatouille a forty two, Toy Story two 
at 47, Cars at 49, Toy Story at 51, Master Zinc at 53, Wally at 56, Finding Nemo at 61, Incredibles at 61. <laughs> They no, have gone game. back into the tie for the it's number one spot. <laughs> it's a tie again. <laughs> it's a tie again, and this time it's because of random. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and I was so close to choosing Incredibles <laughs> 2. <laughs> well, okay, I will say this much. Don't ultimately decide Incredibles just so that you can unbreak the tie. Don't, don't no, do that. No, no, no. Take I Incredibles because you want to, not because you have to. Ah. Right. <laughs> exactly. So now this list is truly, uh, damn, this, this is just so exciting watching the Incredibles and Finding Nemo like battle each other. <laughs> What's number three? Because I feel like it's getting a little closer. Number three is Wally. Oh, okay. So number three was, all right. So now Monsters Inc. is number four. So that's even farther. Okay. Yes. Monsters Inc. Wally is had how many points? Four. 59? Uh, Wally has 56 points. Oh, okay. So it's actually really not that close. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. This is good. This is good shit. Um, uh, and very... honestly, and we're still in the classic Pixar period. Where yeah. All the, like, where the, the the Pixar renaissance, if you will. Yeah. And... I think the craziest part is we haven't gotten to either of your favorites yet. We haven't gotten mine's done. One. Mine's done and out of the way, but your two favorites? We haven't even oh. gotten to them yet. <laughs> we're yeah. not going to them. That's right. Yeah, we're That's... not going to them for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. we and still I, got a I, long I, while. I, I but... unironically mean this. Not not Cars 2, not Good Dinosaur. I mean your favorites. <laughs> yeah, like our favorite favorites. Yeah, yeah, our actual favorite. Um, but next time, we're going to be discussing Up, another classic of the of the uh, the Pixar legacy. Yeah. I um, love which... that episode of Ed and Nettie. <laughs> <laughs> I just I actually, now I got do, what though. you I just actually, said. I, 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 that is such an obscure reference that I have I to love, keep I that do, in the edit now. I do love that episode, though. I'm, it's I'm it's that's good. a wonderful episode. But um, I actually uh, have to go, of course. So yeah, so uh, I'm gonna go gonna, sleep. I've been up since four thirty. I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna. I gotta work on. I gotta work out. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's it's it's. We we're record as of now. Uh, we're recording this at at eleven thirty, and uh, I have to go. So don't ask why I work out late at night. <laughs> it's not good for my sleep schedule. But either way, anyway, uh, I have been the watch, and I'm random bystander here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to mine. So subscribe to both of our YouTube channels and subscribe to Pixar Spective. And don't forget to hit the little notification button because that's kind of important too. Subscribe to Wally and send in those bits. You, you know yes. what? Uh, right after this, let's all do uh, let's all do a raid, a random raid on Wall underscore E. So take care. Bye bye. Right. Bye bye now. Are we done? Mo.